Hello and welcome back to another Fusion Minis episode. This is episode 27 to be exact. And it will be about stabilizing slightly shaky footage right inside of Fusion. Okay, let's go. As you can see, I already loaded in this clip. This is how it looks. Handheld shot. Not too shabby, but pff, yeah. Let's stabilize it. I jump to the very first frame and with my loader node selected, I add in a tracker node, this one. Now by default, the tracker node comes with one tracking point already existing. I know for my stabilization, I need a second tracking point, so I add it right away. Okay, now the most challenging part in this example is to find the tracking points because they are green. And green on green, whew, not easy. This here is the first tracking point. I grab it, drag it around and reposition it right here and because my footage is not shaking like super super crazy I can reduce the search radius quite a bit and the second tracking point is right here and this is your position buddy reduce its search radius as well and let me quickly zoom in a little in case you don't know to drag around those points in the upper left corner this little white dot I hope you can see it that's um, that's the point where you have to grab um, tracking points to move them around okay fit now we have repositioned the tracking points we are on the very first frame and that's why I can simply click on track forward from current time both tracking points will be simultaneously be tracked pretty quick operation okay now I'm able to double check, but I know that it worked because this is not the first time I am choosing those two points. <clears throat> okay, and now let me open the second image view window for the tracker node. To make this work, we need to change something in the tracker node. It's in the operation tab. Because our operation is not none, it will be match move. And we do not have to merge a foreground over a background. We only have a background. Our footage, that's the background in this case. Now watch what happens once I click on background only. Take a look at the corners here in the second image view window. Background only, whoops, boom. <gasps> Checkerboard. I redo that. And background only boom that probably indicates that it's working already let's check I click on play and now fusion is trying to reposition our footage frame by frame based on the tracks And it's doing a pretty nice job, I would say. As reference, Fusion is now using my start frame, frame number zero. Maybe that's not your best choice. Then try to use your end frame or both maybe or select a specific frame. I don't know. Start frame just works for me right now. The only thing I have to deal with now is the checkerboard that's looking pretty ugly let's be honest I add in a transform node and oh man and size and now I'm happy 
look at it. Let's compare the two. Now on the left you have the original and on the right you have our stabilized footage with just a very, very slight movement looking pretty good. That's how you stabilize your footage right inside of Fusion. Nice. Ah. Oops, stop it. Okay. I really, really hope you liked this episode. If so, like always, please leave me a thumbs up. Bye bye for now.